Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well, today we're gonna to be checking out the Lewitt LCT-140 Air. These are a budget-friendly mic. Um, they're a small diaphragm condenser. Um, so if you're in the market for a pencil condenser, I've actually been very pleasantly surprised with what I've been hearing. Stay tuned. Okay, so today we're mostly gonna be focusing on drums because this, uh, this is actually fairly new uh, to have these as a matched pair. The, uh, the LCT-140 Air has been a mic that's, has, it's been out, but they're now offering it as a matched pair, which is pretty cool. I've always been on the lookout for affordable mics that sound great. So I have really high hopes for this one. Let's check it out. Typical fashion, let's fire it up on drum overheads. Here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm just amazed. I mean, usually a small diaphragm on drum overheads, it usually can be almost too bright. And it's usually led me to use ribbons, like, I don't know, all the time. And, you know, I, I am pretty picky on the overhead mics that I use because a lot of times it's just the cymbals are too bright. There's not enough meat coming out of the drums. And by meat, I mean, 200 hertz. So I want to be able to feel the fullness of the snare drum and some of the toms. And that way that, you know, I can, I can kind of match the mics with the overheads. When I flip polarity of my close mics, I want to be able to actually feel the difference and, and hear it kind of canceling out. You know, overall, I think this, this actually really, really was great. I think that, that uh, it was very, very smooth, very even tempered. I'm very pleased so far. In fact, it's almost on the dark side, which I love. So, so far, it's a winner. Okay, this is just at the flat setting. It's a nice, even, neutral sounding mic that doesn't rip my face off with high end. So, wow, that right there, that's an accomplishment just to get a very nice balanced sound like that. Okay, so let's try the air boost. So this is uh, boosting up the top end, boosting up those high frequencies. I don't know what it is. It's probably somewhere above, you know, 10K or 12K, but let's see how this sounds. Okay, so at first I really liked this. I mean, it sounded really, really nice. It, it was exactly what um, the mix needed. And it, it worked in a really nice way to where if I didn't need lots of overheads, I could still bring in my cymbals and not bring in too much drums or clunky room sound. If I'm relying more on the close mics for my drum mix, then I can push down my uh, overheads in the mix, kind of sink it down, and having the air to boost up those highs, it allows me to bring up the cymbals without bringing a lot of the mids or the lows in my overheads. It's a much different approach. It's almost like high passing your overheads, but you're mostly focusing on the sound of the cymbals. So I think this sounded really nice. Uh, at first, very, very nice. I, I do wish it was just a little bit less of an adjustment. So maybe half as much of a boost in that air frequency. But I, I do think it sounds very good. You know, I just wish it was a little bit less of a push in those high frequencies. But in light of our first test, which was just completely flat, I'm just, I'm blown away by the sound of this mic. This, I mean, this will get me anything that I need out of the drum set. And if I need something like a top end boost, I can flip on the air. Now, I also got in the LCT 440 Pure for review. And so I wanna uh, actually do a test where I compare both of these mics, the uh, 140 uh, Air, versus the 440 Pier.
these are solid sounds. I mean, these are not expensive mics, but they're really great sounds. Even a few years ago, I would have killed to have mics this good. I mean, you know, I've dealt with really bright overheads, really bright condensers, condensers that don't pick up the low end. You know, in recent years, I've gotten in some really good mics that, I mean, the bar just keeps getting raised and raised. And I mean, a lot of these inexpensive mics are getting really, really good. So 440 Pier, 140 Air, these are both solid sounds. And I mean, you can judge yourself. Do you like the sound or not? But I really feel that these are balanced sounds. You get enough low end, you get a balanced high end. So it's a real win. In the future, I uh, definitely will be checking out the 440 Pure on vocals, uh, things like guitar amp. Uh, I also want to check out the, uh, the 140 Air, uh, like on snare and some other sources like acoustic guitar. So yeah, I'd be curious uh, to hear your feedback on what you'd like me to try out uh, for these Lewitt mics. But yeah, uh, let me know what you thought of this test today. I'll be hanging out in the comments below.